Hey, how's it going guys? DevK here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the thermal paste on a CPU. So if you've got an old laptop that is running slow, then the, uh, the likelihood is that the old thermal paste, which cools down the CPU, has gone dry and is no longer um, actually cooling the CPU. So in front of me, I've got a Sony Vio that is pretty, pretty old. Um, it's years old. And um, basically it was overheating a little bit and it was running really, really slow. So what I've gone, gone ahead and done is I've taken the cover off, the back cover, and all of these little holes uh, that you can see right here, there's, there's screws in them. So you need to take all of them out. And what I've done is on my desk, so if I can show you guys, I've put all of the screws in an order that makes sense to me. So I've taken off the four screws for the um, heat sink, four screws, and then this heat sink, heat shield just pops off. On this particular laptop, um, if you look in here, that is clogged up and manky. It's disgusting. So on one side, it's really, really bad. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean that up. Look at that, that's disgusting. Oh my God. It's full of crap like that. I've got some compressed air. Okay, so. Oh God, okay. I don't know if you can see this. But just from that little blow, look at all the crap that has fallen out. This is like, this is blocking the air from passing through, which is going to overheat your CPU and it's not going to run as efficiently. So you need to get it out. This, it, it took me like, guys, it took me like 10 minutes to take the back cover off. It's not long. You just take all the screws out. Um, I had to slide the CD tray out, which is just two screws holding it in and then you just slide it out and then um, the whole back cover just comes off straight away, just like that. So get yourself comp some compressed air. You're gonna need some thermal paste. Now this is cheap eBay thermal paste. I bought this years ago and I've been using it for a while. I don't know, like, to be honest, I don't know if it has like a best used by date or something like that. Um, I can't see anything on there, but I've been using it for a long time and it works completely fine. It's better than the, the old crap that'll be on your, on your uh, CPU, so. Get yourself some thermal paste, get an air duster to clean this out. You can also use a hoover. There's still some crap in there that I can see right here. And look, I'm just going to peel it out. Look at that. Disgusting. Put it on the bed. Ha ha ha. And yeah, just get it all out. I'm going to spray it a bit more. And then the other side as well, okay? I need to spray this side as well. Believe you me, right, I'm looking through this now, yeah? I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's completely clear. You can see you can see my top through it, see that? That's what you want. You don't want anything blocking that. That is all good. What we need to do now is we need to get some rubbing alcohol. You're also gonna need some of this. Uh, I think you can also use electrical contact cleaner, but this is isopropyl alcohol, 99.9%. .9%. You don't particularly need 99% rubbing alcohol but it will work completely fine. So what I want to do is I want to get the old paste off of here. Sorry, the camera's on the other side. It's not focusing. I need to get the old thermal paste off of that, um, off of the CPU as well, and then we're going to put some new one on, okay? So I've got my rubbing alcohol here on the side. I'm just going to set that down to one side. And what I'm going to do, people say not to use um, kitchen roll or like toilet roll because tiny bits of lint can fall off and like get stuck in there, but I've n honestly never had a problem. It's fine. Give that a little dab. And then on the back end of this, I'm just gonna wipe like this. Nice and clean. I'm happy with that. What we need to do now is we need to clean the thermal paste on the CPU and just carefully wipe the CPU down. And once you've got it nice and clean, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a bead, um, a small dot of thermal paste to the CPU, okay? And what we're gonna use is we're gonna use a credit card to spread it. I'm going to use my little screw screw fix card here. 
you can use a credit card it's fine just get a little card place a little dot in the center there's different methods to do this some people say like some people say um put a tiny dot in the center and then just push the heat sink on i don't think that's very good uh but yeah that, that's another way you can, that you can do it but i like this method so you just put a tiny dot in the middle like that and then i'm going to put the lid on this so it don't all come out so we've got that tiny dot in the middle there that you can see and what i'm going to do i'm going to use my my little card to spread this around evenly you should have a nice even coat across the whole uh, processor top of the processor Go, go at different angles so like that there I'm, I'm happy with that it's completely spread over the CPU uh, it doesn't matter if you've got a tiny bit of overspill on the edge I'm just gonna wipe that card clean doesn't matter yeah like I say it doesn't matter if you've got a little bit over the edge and then once that is on there you can get your you get your heat sink and put it in uh, where the fan is and what you can what i'm going to do i'm not going to push down i'm going to leave it like that i'm going to get the four screws that hold the heat sink in place and i'm going to start um, putting them in one by one it's handy to have a magnetic screwdriver because then these screws hold on to the end and they do not fall off very handy especially with like really tiny screws if you're working on things like mobile phones smartphones tablets then you're going to need to want to get your, get yourself a set of these they're very handy that's one in and the thing is if the holes are in line with the where the screw goes into then you know it's in the right position it's in the right place so just make sure that they're lined up and then just start putting all of the screws in helps to get it straight like if you're putting it in okay and then the last one That's in place guys. All four screws are in. Now last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my compressed air and I'm gonna I'm gonna spray the fan. And there's a lot of dust coming off that. Also, what you can do is you can go around the whole um, motherboard really. You can go around the whole mo motherboard and um, just spray it up. Make sure there's no dust in there. You do it in short bursts, don't do it all in one go, otherwise it will come out really cold and weird. Okay, that is done. Heat sink is on. Cleaned out. The fins are nice and clean, so air can escape. And all I have to do now is put this bad boy together. So... That is all you need to do, guys, to change the thermal paste on your old PC or laptop. It's the same thing with a PC. Um, you'll just get a different heat sink, okay? So that gold copper, that copper pipe here, that's the heat sink. It'll be different on a PC. There might be like a big heat shield on top, but it's the same principle on applying thermal paste to a PC CPU to a laptop CPU. So make sure you do that. It's a cheap and effective way to ensure that your PC is cooled uh, correctly and that it runs properly. So I would highly recommend you do this every, say, every year, every two years. Um, it should be good to last that long. And you can buy more, more expensive thermal paste if you like, but this is a sure way to ensure your PC runs efficiently. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts. Please share the video if, if you found it helpful. Subscribe to the channel. Helps me out. Give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.